What's up YouTube, how are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my one month review of the Monolith 9X Dolby Atmos amplifier. And we're gonna get into it right after the jump. Today's video is sponsored by PSB Speakers. In 1972, Paul Barton started building speakers in a small rural Canadian town and is responsible for the development of the Canadian sound, a sound that would accurately deliver dynamic, neutral acoustics. From the affordable Alpha line to the higher end Imagine line, architectural speakers and headphones, they have lots of options to give you that open and natural Canadian sound. Go to PSB's website to check out their products and sign up for the M4U8 headphone giveaway. The M4U8 is one of the most natural sounding wireless noise canceling headphones in the world. Giveaway link is down in the description. And I'm back. Now, if you're new to the channel and want to learn about home theater, home audio, TVs, and all that cool 4K HDR stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when the next video is released. Now, before we jump into the goodness of this video, if you guys are at home and bored, I did a live stream on Saturday where I DJed music and took requests and made it kind of this interactive kind of show thing. So if you're into that or want to check it out, I'll be doing it again this Saturday, I think maybe 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So mark that in your calendars and I'll see you there. Now on to the review. Big shout out and thank you to Mono Price for sending this over for review. Thank you guys so much. Now I previously said Dolby Atmos amplifier in the intro of this video and like on some other socials and people are like, that's just a bunch of hooey and all this kind of stuff. It actually is set up for a 5.1.4 nine channel Dolby Atmos setup. So obviously we're not talking about the point one, that's the subwoofer, but the nine channels that you're going to be powering your ear level, five of them, and then the four up top. Even on the back, we have a left, center, right, and we have surround left, surround right, height one left, height one right, height two left, and height two right. So it is set up that way. You could use it in a 7.2.2, just have your surround left and right, and then use the height ones as your surround back left and right, and then the height two as your actual Atmos channels. I'm sure that will work as well. So like I said, it is an amplifier that is made for Dolby Atmos. So you can have a one rack solution to get external power. Now, if you guys don't know how to add an external amplifier to your AVR, I made a video about it, which I'll link up here and with the link down in the description. And if you haven't seen the first video of this amplifier, I'll link that down in the description as well, where I go over most of the stats, the price, and all the features that it has. Now for my review, I went ahead and disconnected the subwoofer. I actually don't own a subwoofer, but I do have a nice new subwoofer in to review two of them actually. And uh, that video will be coming up soon, but I wanted to see how the amplifier would handle all these speakers. So I decided not to connect a subwoofer. So this is kind of just going to be about the amplifier powering nine speakers. Now the speaker system I have are five Martin Logan speakers for the ear level and four SVS prime elevation speakers for the Atmos channels and the Martin Logans are six ohm for the mains, four ohm for the center, five ohm surrounds, those are the FX2s, and the SVS prime elevation speakers we know as eight ohms. So the amplifier is getting quite the varying ohm load, and I would gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the way it handled all the different speakers. I picked up Jumanji the next level on 4K Blu-ray because it does have an IMAX enhanced mix, and since I'm running the Denon X3600H, I figured, hey, this would be a great way to get these speakers going. And wow, I was very impressed with the amount of output I was getting from my speaker system. Without the subwoofer, usually the bass is kind of lacking, but definitely not the case here. Again, I didn't connect a subwoofer because I wanted to run the mains at full range to really push the amplifier to see if it had enough headroom for all those dynamic shifts. Now, if you don't know what headroom and dynamic shifts are, I explain that in another video I'll link down in the description and with a card up top. The Monolith 9X is no slouch in the power department. I contacted Monoprice just to see if they had any rated numbers for different ohm loads, and they do. So normally the front stage is going to be 200 watts per channel into eight ohms, but if you're running four ohm speakers, you're gonna get 300 watts 
output on those three channels. So since I am running six ohm speakers for the mains, I'm imagining it's about 250 and there's the four ohm center. So that's getting 300. And for the balance six channels, they usually are running 100 watts per channel into eight ohms. So for the four height channels, that's what they're getting 100 watts. Uh, which is good, I like that. Now the Martin Logan FX2 surrounds, they're bipole surrounds and they are five ohm. So I would imagine it's probably putting out 125 to 130. They estimated 130 to 150 into four ohms. So since they're five ohms, maybe 135, I don't know. That's up in the air. That's uh, all to speculation, but it should be somewhere around there. Now after going through many movies, throughout this month with no subwoofer, just letting that amplifier chug through and power through all that. I gotta say, this is one really good amplifier, especially if you're looking for a one rack solution for a nine channel Dolby Atmos setup. I watched a lot of movies and movie scenes from Dunkirk to Ready Player One to Jumanji, and we watched a ton of TV and I was blasting some Westworld because we were trying to catch up as season three just started. So I had a lot of time with this amplifier and I can say it'll probably handle anything you throw at it. Now, if you're wondering about heat, I didn't notice it being super hot as the system was on for about seven to eight hours a day. Of course, normal listening volumes until I needed to listen to something and then I jack it up. And in two channel mode, when I was just listening to music, sounds like they were like really making those Martin Logans work. So that was also a nice thing. And the noise floor is also really good in those quiet talking scenes in movies and TVs. I didn't notice any, you know, noise in that aspect. Um, if there was one thing that I didn't like, it would be that they advertise a no thumping start. And I'd say about 15 to 18% of the time, like I would get a thump when I turned on the system. So it didn't happen all the time. I'd say it happened like one to two times every 10 times turning on the system. Now I know one of the viewers had said that they love their 9X and their monolith amp, but it does thump every single time. So I'm not sure what's up with that or how they could fix that. But if I did have to, you know, come up with a con, that would be it. It did thump like about two times out of 10. So overall, if you're looking for a one rack solution that's gonna give you power to nine channels for your Atmos setup, you should definitely give the Monoprice Monolith 9X a look because you won't be disappointed. You're gonna have way more power than any AVR can put out and it does great for long periods of time as well. And one of the things I noticed is that it just had power to give and it had no trouble. You know, it didn't break a sweat at all when I was listening at reference and above levels. The one problem with that was my wife was complaining about it because she's she's at home a lot more now and she's always telling me that's loud. That's too loud. Why is this so loud? Anyway, if you want to check it out, link is down in the description. Again, thank you Monoprice for sending this over for me to review. Thank you guys so much. And if you at home have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whatever you like to do. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like to go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time. Thank you